trusts. Let's take a look at what this video here has to say about trusts. So you're a billionaire and you've run into a problem. You've amassed all this wealth, all this power, but you're getting old. And your kids, your nieces, your nephews, they're all lining up to kiss your butt to make sure they get listed on the will. But your family doesn't know anything about money. They didn't have to grind it out like you did. Everything was given to them. So if you leave any money to them, they are gonna squander it. No, seriously, a staggering 70% of wealthy families lose their wealth by the next generation, with 90% losing it by the generation after that. Two generations. That is all it takes for all your wealth, all your hard work, the empire you've built to go circling down the drain. You cannot let that happen. But lucky for you, ultra wealthy dynasties have already figured out how to solve this problem. And at the center of it all are the Rockefellers, who after 80 years since his death, seven generations later, John D. Rockefeller's family is still standing as one of the wealthiest families on earth. How wealthy? Well, no one knows, because they're just that good at hiding it. And in this video, we are going to expose it all. Trusts, family foundations, family offices, and a super clever tactic that not many people know about. Stay dangerous, this is how the rich get richer, and this is definitely not financial advice. Yeah, it's so important to have your money go back into the family trust, so therefore you maintain privacy. Because if you don't put things into a trust, your assets, the, the, the proceeds from your life insurance policy inside an irrevocable life insurance trust to pay off any estate tax due uh, post your, your, your passing, is that you avoid probate, probate court. Meaning that if you don't put your affairs in order, then the court system is going to determine how to divide your estate up with your family, your friends, and anybody you potentially may owe money to. And once your information is submitted to probate court, now your information is officially your assets, your liabilities, everything that you own, anything that's under your name is now public information. And so people can come out the word work and say, hey, yo, yeah, that guy, Matt Zappala, he owes me money, right? Or how documented, you got document and proof. If nobody in your family or your attorney can prove that or your estate does not owe that money, well, guess what? That person might just walk away with X amount of dollars away from your family inheritance. Instead of going to your family, somebody may erroneously or fraudulently try to stake a claim on your state because it's no longer in a trust. That's a problem with probate court. People can come out the woodwork and you have to have the right documentation and right people to challenge anytime somebody wants to stick their hands in your family wealth. That's why having a trust is so important. And at the same time, too, for those of you who have blended families out there that you may have gotten remarried, it's also very important that you divide that wealth up to the children that want to receive it because you would hate to think that you end up creating a beneficiary as your ex. This is what happened to a person with the IRA and uh, they got divorced in the 80s and the 90s. There was an article about it, it was floating around, went viral. But the person got divorced in the 80s and the 90s, guess what they forgot to do? They forgot to update the beneficiary of the trust or the beneficiary of the retirement account. And guess what happened? That person passed away and his current wife then was expecting to receive the retirement account. Well, guess what? The beneficiary is still the ex-wife. <laughs> that makes for a very, very uncomfortable conversation. And so you want to make sure you update the beneficiaries of your wills, your trust, and also your retirement accounts or your life insurance policies too as well.